Two of the things that we totally take for granted are gravity and light. One, of course, keeps us grounded with our feet firmly planted on the earth. The other lets us see that our feet are on the ground and how stylish our shoes are on those feet. Now, thanks to an innovation, the gravity that keeps you down can also light you up. The concept is simple but innovative. Let the weight of gravity power a single light without having to use electricity, kerosene, or solar energy. The brains behind Gravity Light, Martin Riedeford and Jim Reeves, wanted to serve the more than 1.4 billion people with no access to electricity. Martin spoke to me from London, England. Thank you, Martin, for being on Innovation Nation. Hi, Mo. It's great to be here. What sparked the idea for Gravity Light? We were trying to do a cheap uh, solar uh, light and it was difficult to do with the cost of the components that you had to fit in. And I had an epiphany that maybe we could do it a different way, just by using the power of gravity. Martin and his team knew that people in developing countries with no access to electricity often had to resort to using kerosene lamps. And that creates a very poor light, a lot of smoke, a lot of fumes. Martin had the idea that if he were to raise a weight and run a generator from that weight falling slowly, he could create light through an LED. How does it work? Okay, the original design, we started off with lifting a weight to generate the energy. The weight is suspended from a cord, which turns a sprocket, which has to work to quite a large gearbox in order to drive a generator, which uh, generates the electricity. You lift the bag of rocks or sand to head height, then let it go. It drops nearly six feet, and that process gives you 20 minutes of light. But Martin and his team wanted to improve on that idea, so they created a second generation. What we experimented with was a hand-over-hand -hand winching, where you're pulling the same cord and it returns on itself over a sprocket. And we found that we could easily get 20 watts out of that, and even 25 or 30 watts if you really fussed the gut doing it. What is your biggest hope for this invention? Can we make it brighter, and can we make it last longer? So that's what we've worked on. So the new device enables this to last all night long. It's got a, quite a large battery, and it also can connect into a solar panel and even the mains. This third generation light will be put to use not just in developing countries, but in the West too. Martin, thanks for being on our show and for shedding light on our world. Thanks for having me, Mo.